You will not be required to get a vaccine passport. Governor Abbott issued an executive order early this morning stopping government agencies and state funded organizations from requiring the vaccination proof. High team reporter Ginger Allen looks at the ongoing backlash of mandating the pass before going to work, school, or public places. This week, Texas will surpass 13 million doses administered. Governor Greg Abbott says vaccinations will reduce the spread and fatalities caused by COVID-19, but... These vaccines are always voluntary and never forced. Abbott says they reveal private information, and in this executive order, he states the government will not require Texans to provide proof of vaccination at places which receive public funds or grants. That would be schools, hospitals, and government buildings. The order does not apply to nursing homes, living facilities, or long-term care facilities. You don't want to create separate classes of citizens based on whether somebody received vaccine. Abbott joins Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and many other state leaders across the country making similar moves. In recent days, an analyst for the ACLU stated some people don't have smartphones. Vaccine passports could increase inequality, put more tracking tokens on our phones, and the information could be sold. The New England Journal of Medicine is stating the system raises policy and ethical considerations. Meanwhile, around the globe, many places say it's opening their economies. Israel already requires a green pass to get into recently reopened hotels, gyms, pools, and theaters. Several other countries are also considering the mandate. If everyone's vaccinated, they can feel protected. And this disease prevention expert told our sister station in Sacramento, in some ways, we are already using these passports. So you need, you know, vaccinations to go to school. You need vaccinations to go to college. You need vaccinations actually to travel to certain places. Just this afternoon, the White House announced the federal government will not support any system that requires vaccine passports. Today in Texas, this order just takes that one step further with the state saying it will not allow any state-funded agency to require them. I'm Ginger Allen, CBS 11 News.